Are you passionate about design and you want to become a UI UX designer in 2023? In this video, I'll be taking you through seven steps with which you can become a UI UX designer. So the first step is to understand what you're stepping into. And since you jumped onto this video, I'm pretty sure you did a little bit research about what UI UX is. And if not, let me just try to give you a quick high level overview of what UI UX is. So UI stands for user interface, and these are nothing but the visual elements that you see on your screen. So even right now, you'll be seeing a lot of icons, labels. On the top, you'll be seeing a search bar on YouTube. And also there's a red subscribe button at the bottom. So if you like the information on this channel, definitely click on it and subscribe to the channel. So jumping back to the topic, these are nothing but all the UI elements that you see on your screen. So this comes under user interface and UX stands for user experience. And this is nothing but the overall experience the user has while interacting with your product. And these can be things like ease of use, the efficiency and the overall satisfaction of the user. So that is a high level intro about what UI UX is. So now that you know what is UI UX, let's jump on to the next step. So step two is to explore the tool and learn the design principles. And for this, I generally suggest people to go with Figma because it is a market leader and a lot of companies are using it right now. And to learn Figma, there are a lot of free courses available in the market. And there's one by Figma itself, by Figma Academy, if I'm not wrong. So I'll drop the links of these in the description below. You can check it out. So once you learn this tool, along with that, I also suggest people to learn the design principles and try to practice them. So design principles of fundamentals are nothing but things like color theory, typography, the layout. So as you keep learning them, also try to practice them on Figma as well. So try to use the tools, use the pixels, the frame, and colors and try to implement them and try to practice by recreating different UIs like popular UIs like Instagram, Facebook. So try to take a screenshot of those and try to analyze them, use the colors and try to recreate them. So that would be your step two. So step three is to learn problem solving and soft skills. So problem solving is a really important skill that a UX designer needs to have. And the reason I stress on this right now is because things like visual design or UI can be easily taken over by AI. So there are tools in the market right now which can take a prompt and create a user interface directly on Figma. So things like these can be easily taken over by AI and things like problem solving is something which AI cannot take over in the near future. And this includes things like design thinking process where you need to do a lot of user research, empathize with the user and then you ideate and come up with solutions and prototypes, right? And all this comes under problem solving. And this is the core skill where you need to put a lot of your effort on to try to understand it and learn it. And for this also, there are a lot of free courses available in the market. So I'll definitely link a couple of them in the description below. So check it out. So along with this, also try to improve on your soft skills because just coming up with solutions is not enough. As a UX designer, you also need to communicate the solution and try to make the stakeholders understand what is the idea and what is the solution that you've created. So as part of step three, also try to improve your soft skills. So step four is to start building your portfolio. And this again is a very important step because this is where you showcase all your UI UX skills and the recruiters go through this portfolio of yours and try to understand your skills. So that is the reason this is really Really important and in this you can basically have two to three of your best projects or your case studies and I'll be talking more about this in a separate video on how you can build your portfolio the different tools you can use and what all other topics that you need to cover in each of your case study so stay tuned for that video so step number five is to start networking and find a mentor for networking you can choose platforms like LinkedIn so go to LinkedIn search for the companies where you want to join the design team look for the people who work there connect with them don't just send a blank connect request right create a personalized message and tell them why you want to join their company or you're looking for some internships, tell about yourself that you're building a portfolio and in a couple of months you want to apply for the company, try to understand what is the interview process and things like that, right? So try to create a personalized message and connect with them and ask them to review your portfolio, tell them to give feedback. And for this, you can also look for a mentor. So there are platforms like ADP list where you can connect with a lot of amazing designers throughout the world. So go connect with them, try to schedule a call and try to get feedback on your portfolio can try to implement that on your portfolio and improve it as much as possible. So once you're done with this step, step number six is to start applying for jobs. Have your resume and your portfolio ready and start applying jobs on LinkedIn and various other platforms where you can find these design jobs. So I'll link a couple of them in the description below. So go to all these recruiters and apply it. You can also apply through LinkedIn. So if you find design managers who are working in a company which has roles, you can also connect with them and start talking about the design jobs that are available. And along with 
with that, if you're just getting started, you can also look for internships that are available. A lot of companies put out a lot of internships on design. So you can join the internships and try to learn all the process that actually happens in a real company, all the design process and all the design work or the responsibilities that you have. So once you take a small internship, then you can jump for a full time job. And even after you secure a job that doesn't end there, there's also a step number seven, which is to continue learning. So UX is not something that you just learn in a course or once you get a job, it's done. UX is a continuous learning process. It comes with a lot of experience. So try to read a lot of articles and stay updated with the latest trends and what is happening in the market. You need to be up to date and upskill yourself if you want to stay relevant in this industry. So that being said, these are the seven steps that you need to follow to become a UI UX designer in 2023. So if you're getting started, all the best and happy learning, happy designing. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.